For thousands of years, Mount Etna has put on a spectacular display. Eruptions from its summit craters paint the Sicilian sky with fire, a raw, beautiful, and relatively distant show of planetary power. We think we understand this volcano. We watch the summit. But what if we've been looking in the wrong place? What if the volcano itself is changing the rules? A new landmark study has just revealed a terrifying feedback loop hidden deep within Etna's core. The slow, massive deformation of the mountain is no longer just a symptom of its power. It is now actively guiding it. The volcano is tearing itself apart, and in doing so, it is inviting its own magma to erupt in new, far more dangerous locations. Before we explore the details of this shocking discovery, if you find these geological insights critical, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to Geology Watch. The story begins with the phenomenon we've covered before, flank instability. Etna's entire southeastern flank, a colossal wedge of rock and ancient lava weighing billions of tons, is sliding relentlessly into the Ionian Sea. This mass land deformation is happening at a rate of several centimeters per year. The accepted wisdom was simple. Magma rises deep within the volcano's plumbing, inflating the edifice. This pressure, combined with gravity, pushes the unbuttressed eastern flank, causing it to slide. The magma was the cause, and the slide was the effect. That assumption is only half the story. A new study, published in late 2025, has turned this idea on its head. Using a decade of incredibly precise GPS data, satellite measurements, and powerful computer models, scientists have confirmed a far more complex and dangerous relationship. The sliding of the flank is now creating a zone of weakness. As this massive block of the volcano pulls away and moves seaward, it literally reduces the confining pressure inside that part of the mountain. It creates a vacuum. Magma, rising from the mantle, always seeks the path of least resistance to the surface. The new study proves that the sliding flank is now creating that path. The volcano's own collapse is acting like a suction, pulling new batches of magma not towards the summit, but sideways into the fractured, moving flank itself. The volcano is tearing itself apart, and in doing so, it is inviting its own magma to erupt in new, far more dangerous locations. This is a catastrophic feedback loop. The more the flank slides, the easier it is for magma to intrude into it. And the more magma intrudes, the more it pushes and lubricates the flank, accelerating the slide. The volcano's collapse is now feeding its own eruptive fury. To understand the power of this loop, we must look deeper, below the volcano itself. Etna is a geological anomaly. It doesn't sit on a simple, clean plate boundary. It is fueled by a complex and violent interaction where the African plate dives beneath the Eurasian plate. But there's a twist. Seismic data reveals a tear in that subducting plate, a slab window that allows superheated mantle material to rise directly beneath Sicily with incredible force. This provides an almost inexhaustible supply of magma, constantly pressurizing the system from below. This immense, deep-seated power is the ultimate engine driving both the summit eruptions and the gravitational collapse that defines this dangerous feedback loop. This is not just a model. We have seen the terrifying proof of this mechanism in action. The violent flank eruption of 2002-2003 was not a summit event. It began when a new fissure system, a dike of magma, tore open the side of the volcano. 
This eruption was explosive, destroying tourist facilities at Piano Provenzana and sending ash plumes across the Mediterranean to Libya. Then again, in December 2018, a new magma intrusion into the flank triggered a shallow but powerful magnitude 4.9 earthquake on the flank's boundary fault. The shaking caused buildings to collapse in the town of Flary, injuring dozens of people and proving that the fault systems on the sliding flank are active and responding directly to magmatic pressure. These events were not random. The new study confirms they were a direct consequence of this feedback loop. The flank's movement created the weakness and the magma exploited it, choosing the new, easier path to the surface. This changes everything about the risk assessment for Mount Etna. For centuries, the greatest danger to the city of Catania and the dozens of towns on Etna's slopes was a major flank eruption originating at a low elevation. The most devastating example was the catastrophic eruption of 1669. That eruption didn't happen at the summit. A fissure opened on the flank at just 800 meters of elevation, just above the towns. For four months, it poured out a sea of lava. The eruption built a chain of new cinder cones, now known as the Monte Rossi, or Red Mountains, just north of the city. The lava flow advanced relentlessly for weeks, a river of fire that overwhelmed a 30-foot-high city wall, buried the entire western side of Catania, and pushed the coastline out by more than a kilometer. This historical disaster is the blueprint for what a modern, low-elevation flank eruption guided by this newly discovered feedback loop could do. The new research shows that the current flank instability is creating the exact conditions for another 1669-style event. The sliding is pulling the trigger, making it far more likely that the next major eruption will not be a spectacular show at the summit, but a devastating fissure eruption on the volcano's lower slopes, closer to the one million people who live in its shadow. The mass land deformation of Mount Etna is no longer just a long-term risk for a potential tsunami. It has become an active, present-day driver of the volcanic hazard itself. The volcano is at war with itself, where its own structural collapse is dictating its eruptive future, and the populated coastal region of Sicily is caught in the middle. We are no longer just watching a volcano erupt. We are watching a volcano that is actively and dangerously deconstructing itself. If this story gave you a new perspective on our planet's hidden forces, please like this video and subscribe to Geology Watch. Join us as we continue to explore the incredible forces shaping the only world we call home.